going on? My name is Martin, and this is Matter Hacks, a video series brought to you by Actionable Insights. Today's video is all about ordering digital assets with Matterport, and specifically with Matterport scans performed with the Insta360 ONE X2. Now, this is a five part video series. Welcome to part five. If you've missed any of the other parts of this video series, go ahead and check the links down in the description below. But again, big thanks to Insta360 for sending us out all the camera and associated equipment to test out and for sponsoring this five part video series. So let's not waste any more time. Let's dive right into my computer. Great, so we're over here at my.matterport.com and we're in the all spaces tab on the left side here. You can see that all spaces. And I performed a Matterport scan with the Insta360 ONE X2. So I'm gonna to scroll to my recent uploads where I've uh, told uh, Matterport to go ahead and upload the scan. And I'm gonna scroll down to Insta360 One X2. Select that. And this is our Matterport scan that we performed with the Insta360 One X2. Let's go ahead and click play. Let's make this full screen and let's check out the scan together. So here is a commercial office building. This is the office that we're in right now. Um, but we performed this scan and just wanna show off some of the details around it. All right, so now that we've checked out the scan, you can see some of the quality of the Insta360 ONE X2 uh, stitched into a Matterport scan. I wanna head on over to the Add-ons tab. Now the Add-ons houses all of Matterport's digital assets, but primarily we're gonna be talking about two of them here today. Now we have the schematic floor plan, and then we also have the Matterport true plan for Xactimate. All right, let's start off with schematic floor plan. So we're gonna go ahead and click schematic floor plan here under add-ons tab, and you can see some additional details about this uh, digital asset derived from a Matterport scan. Now schematic floor plan is a 2D image that is essentially a floor plan or a blueprint of the property that you scanned. Now schematic floor plans are able to be imported into Xactimate. They're delivered as a PDF or PNG file, and you can go ahead and trace over them and then go ahead and build out your sketch manually off of the schematic floor plan. So really nice digital asset uh, delivered by Matterport. Now, when as it relates to the Insta360 ONE X2, any scan performed with that camera can go ahead and order a schematic floor plan. So you're all set, ready to go there. All right, now let's check out the true plan by Xactimate. You'll see this towards the bottom of my screen here. We're gonna go ahead and click it. You can find some additional details here. Ultimately, Matterport true plan is a downloadable asset generated from a Matterport model and upload it into Xactimate. With one click, you can order a true plan directly from Matterport and complete as-built, accurate, Xactimate compatible sketches of the property, and it's generated and delivered to you. Now, there's some important notes about the true plan for Xactimate. Number one, if you're on the enterprise plan with Matterport, you can actually go ahead and order a true plan off of a 360 camera. So I have the Insta360 ONE X2 here. If I went ahead and performed a scan with this camera and on was and was on the enterprise account at Matterport, I would be able to order a true plan using this camera. Now, I do not have an enterprise account that I'm currently logged into, so I do not have the ability to go ahead and order that true plan. However, I still have the ability to order a schematic floor plan with this camera. Now, Matterport's looking to roll this out to all of their plans. But at the time of this recording, it's only available for enterprise account plans that performed a scan using a 360 camera. So I've gone back out to the add-ons tab here and we're gonna go back to schematic floor plan. Now, I've already purchased the schematic floor plan for this scan. If I didn't, you'd have the ability to buy it here. Now, I've waited about 24 hours to go ahead and have that delivered to my inbox and I got an email explaining, hey, your schematic floor plan is ready to download. So I've head back to add-ons, click schematic floor plan, and now I can go ahead and download it right here. Clicking download and you'll see a zip file populate in the bottom portion of my downloads tab. Let's go ahead and open this up and check out what's inside. All right, so I've opened up that zip file and you can see four different files delivered to me. We have uh, two HTML documents, one PDF document and one PNG document. Let's go ahead and open up that PNG. 
And you can see right here, we have the schematic floor plan delivered, essentially a blueprint of the scanned areas. Now, important to note, there are offices here, here, and here, as well as here in this property. But because I did not scan those portions, they are not delivered in the schematic floor plan. So some important notes about ordering a schematic floor plan. Number one, the dollhouse and the floor plan views must be enabled in the spaces settings. Number two, the space must not be archived. And number three, the space must have link sharing enabled with no passwords. Your space can be set to either public or enlisted without an issue. So you have three options when ordering a schematic floor plan. So you can see here the regular option, uh, your floor plan will be delivered in 48 hours. This is how I ordered this floor plan. Now you also have the fast option to be delivered in 24 hours, excluding holidays. And then you have the express option where your floor plan can be delivered in within six hours. Now all of these are gonna have different pricing structures. So let me go ahead and throw that on the screen. So there we go, we have digital assets delivered with a scan performed with the Insta360 ONE X2. Big thanks to those guys for sending us out this camera and sponsoring this five part video series. Again, if you guys enjoyed this video series, don't forget to give it a like and comment down in the comment section below. As always, you can find more at GetInsights.org and until next time, I'll see you later.